Okay. Bon. Oh, thanks for the opportunity. Oh, thanks for the opportunity. Today I will talk about tensionless strings on AD3 orbifolds. I'm Bingo from EBHT Paris Saclay. This is based on the work with Matthias Gabardier and Samir Madur. So let's begin with the ADS3. So tensionless here means the string length scale is comparable to the ADS length scale. And this particular bulk theory is due to a free symmetric orbifold CFT called D1, D5 CFT. And this CFT is made by n copies of a C CFT, and we represent each copy as a cycle in the boundary CFT. Boundary CFT. And there are also multi one cycles due to um, represent the twisted sectors. This duality works as follows the ADS background goes bound to all cycles in the CFT being one cycles, and the string with winding number W in the bulk goes bound to um, a W cycle in the boundary CFT. There are two interesting questions. One is, can we establish a similar duality for other backgrounds? And can we use um, these techniques to study black holes? So our approach begins with um, tensionless strings on AD3 orbifold. Here we consider ZK orbifold. We have established a, um, a mapping for the spectrum between the bulk and the boundary theory. And the AD3 over ZK orbifold background corresponds to all cycles in the boundary CFT being K cycles. And the string with winding number W corresponds to a KW cycle in the bulk, or in the boundary CFT. And here W can be fractional in units of one over K um, because, um, and we call this twisted strings. And this, is, this construction is an explicit realization of the idea that condensation of winding K strings in ADS3 produces ADS3 orbifold. We also need to understand the correlator, and we start with correlator of untwisted strings at genus zero, because there are no string loops, and uh, um, all the external strings are untwisted, so the intermediate strings are untwisted also. We can compute the correlator by summing over the images, and this will give us the property of the semi-classical orbifold geometry. We also find that this result can be reproduced exactly from the boundary CFT correlator at leading order in the one over n expansion. Um, at a higher genus, the twisted intermediate strings contribute, and uh, this introduces effects that beyond the semi-classical orbifold geometry. From the boundary CFT, we can find the genus expansion parameter um, is k over square root of n, and these corrections will be important when k is at order of square root of n. And in this case, the mass of the ADS orbifold is minus order 1, and in the correlator, the external strings will add all the one energy to the system, so this system can reach the black hole threshold very easily, and the black hole can form easily. That means the twisted intermediate strings are important during the black hole formation. There's an interesting future direction inspired by Martin X's recent work, which is to consider the ADS orbifold by Kleinian group. So it has um, multiple conical defects in the bulk, and we can use these techniques to um, build a bag of gold geometry, and uh, this will tell us, hopefully, interesting thing about the black hole interior. Thank you very much. Very good in time. So, questions? One quick thing. Three, two, okay, that's my chance. One.